Good morning, DJ. How'd you sleep? Not well. Not well? Uh, Rapio came to me in a dream last night. I was tossing and turning. It was hot and sweaty. He turned up to about 82. And he said something to me. You know what he said? You are so fucking money today! Let's go, baby! Use the money round! Let's go! Do you want to know one of my favorite saying? Yeah. I, I don't know who made it up, not me. The past is history. The future is a mystery. All we have is the, uh, the present. Is that it? Is it good? Yeah, there's something about a gift. <laughs> that's oh, that's why they call it a, a present. Or something. All we have is today, which is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Yeah. That's it. That's great. That rolls, yeah. out, rolls Maybe up. you can edit that. Maybe that rolls, <laughs> rolls out the top. <laughs> Free coffee. Where'd you get Hair's bathroom. It's like a, it's like a poor man's Keurig. Community cup. Ooh, we like that. Oh, I always share my strap boys. Two oh. strap boys, one cup. You are, you are so money That's right now. Good one. <laughs> You're so money. We're gonna be two beautiful babies out there. I cannot wait to launch them. <laughs> wow, big big week for the C suite. No, red stick, Baton Rouge. We had to go red. It was right. $100. Gone. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Well, Randy and I sat down. We, we looked each other in the eye. We had a tough conversation last night. And, you know, we feel good about our game. I think the money round's going to go well today. Have you guys ever made money in the money round? No, no. Like a lot of water out there, big guy. But the way you're driving the ball, I would, you're not even gonna see it. Wow, let's hope. Man. So you guys don't really have a lot of Somebody got an aggro under this fence. We're gonna roll the snowball over the hill today. See the snow up there? Or we're gonna come barreling down the mountain like an avalanche. Could today. be avalanche season. It could be. Um, there's a lot of melt up there in the mountains. And I think uh, this is this today is the day. Shout out to Maxwell. Today is the day that we break through and we do this and we make money in the money round. So the quota is just 36 minus your course handicap. Double or worse, you get zero points. Bogey, you get one. Par, you get two. Birdie, you get four. Eagle, eight. Albatross. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who are we playing with today? Killer Mike. I am Mike Mason, a freestyle motocross rider and professional golfer. Nine time, nine time X Games medalist. Uh, don't think he's part of the metal militia. He's not. He's but not. He's, he, well, he's sympathetic to the metal militia's okay. causes though. He's got a ton of medals. He's got maybe all the medals. I mean, enough. He's got more than you and I, for yeah. sure. I grew up right here in Reno, Nevada, which is 40 minutes south of Reno. And I started riding when I was four years old. 37 now, so do the math. It's been a long time. It was kind of weird. Like we never like had this vision that we wanted to be professional riders. It was just something we really loved and kept us out of a lot of trouble. Oh. My home course. A lot of beers have gone down here, and um, I'm gonna put a little pressure on these guys today. See if I can make them nervous and lose some cash. Hey, is your dad out here? Yeah, I think he's probably out mowing somewhere. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Oh god, I'd love to meet him. Yeah. Like I was telling D, we'll hit some balls at him. Freestyle motocross, it, it's just all the crazy stuff on a dirt bike. It's the backflips, you know, our, our setups are, you know, scaled ramps, 75 foot jumps for the most part. And yeah, I mean, we see what we can do with them. You know, all, like pretty much everything, all the tricks we've ever done right side up, we try and do upside down. And I mean, you got guys double backflipping and front flipping now, and I'm not messing with none of that though. What's the slogan out here? 
Uh, it takes a lot of balls to play Sunridge. No rough, so the ball just goes out in the sagebrush and there's rattlesnakes and stuff out there. So yeah, it'll be a good day. Did we tell you that these guys only have three balls for the whole trip? If I only had three balls for this trip, I'd be out for, like when I got off the plane, I'd have been done. Cause I usually leave the zipper undone in my bag and they roll out everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, three balls left. All right. So if you guys like find balls, do you get to use those or? Okay. So be on the lookout. Uh, dude, trust me, I have to look for my ball all the time. I'll probably find you guys something. I was actually the last invite to the 2006 X Games down in LA and um, ended up getting a third place. That was my first medal. The first trick ram. Oh, Mason mixing it up, the no-handed flip. Yeah, and big clean tricks from both riders there. 13 X Games total, uh, got nine medals, four of them were gold. And yeah, it was pretty cool. And then, you know, on, on top of that, just still being able to travel and tour with Nitro Circus, you know, like I said, I'm 37 years old. This is relatively a, a young sport, you know, mid 20s, late 20s. And you yeah, had to be 37 still doing this pretty cool. Mike, what's your low score out here? 72. Really? Mm -hmm. Holy smokes. Yeah, oh, man, you got, you're it a was bonus one, range. It was one Same time bag, <laughs> okay? Because right. the next round out here was a 90, so. I'm a 14 course handicap. Oh, sweet. Dang, so my quote is going to be 22. Neil's going to be an eight. 50. 50. 50 is the man. number. If you double yeah. every hole, you lose 100 bucks. Yeah. Yes. A, a Herman Cain? Can we do, let's do uh, one friendly match, four ball. Okay. For beers. Oh, yeah. yeah you guys afford, can you okay. guys afford beers? Yeah, we can do that. If we can't afford beers, what are we even doing? Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Oh, beauty. Oh, pinched it on accident. Injuries in the. <laughs> Injuries in this sport are pretty have you common. Ever, have you ever crashed before? Have I ever crashed before? No, I've actually made it 33 years on a bike, never laid it down. But you know, I mean, I've hit the ground hard before, but it's really unexpected. It's not like, you know, I, I go out there, I, every time I throw a leg over a bike, I'm like, man, I hope I don't crash today. I'm like thinking about my job and what I gotta do, what tricks I gotta do, and yeah, sometimes stuff does happen, and you know, sometimes it's bad, but you know, for the most part, most of us get to walk away from it, and you know, get back on the bike and rebuild the confidence and go back after it. Fighting it, Neil. Maybe he lost the ball in the yeah. first. Not a good start to the money round. I had one crash that was really bad. I actually, on a backflip, Superman seat grab, which is where we grab the back of the bike. I flipped, spot on my, or spot on my landing, grabbed, and went to push the bike out. My hand came out from my grab. My bike just flipped over my head. And that was probably the worst one because it, it dislocated my left, my right wrist, my left ankle, broke my left kneecap, um, tore my left hamstring knocked myself out and separated my shoulder. That was the worst one. Other than that, I've had three ACL surgeries, uh, shoulder surgery, yeah, like I said, a bunch of collarbones, wrists, hit my head a bunch. That's why I talk so good, you know? <laughs> Rattle your head off the ground a bunch. That's what I'm saying, if you do clear the trap, there's just nothing to grab it, you know? That's the last time I don't listen to I tried to be a good caddy, dude. I know, I know. One ball down. Oh, oh, dude, I forgot about that, too. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. What happened? <laughs> I got into golf. Um, my dad actually got me a set of clubs, I think when I was eight years old. And I think when I was like 10, my dad's all, you want to join junior golf? And I was terrified. I'm like, no way. The thought of like having to be with people I didn't know and hit a golf ball in front of me. But when I have a helmet on, I'm totally fine, you know? So I still kind of kick myself in the butt for that because now I see like Fowler and all them making millions, dude. And I'm over here living with my parents, but. You know, I grew up in dirt and pyro and loud music and, you know, people think motorcycles sound cool, but I'm sitting in the, behind them, they're just revving them and I'm like, oh, God, just get me out of here, just headache, you know, after hearing motorcycles for 30 years. And I get out on the course, you know, I have some music going, a couple beers, green grass, beautiful weather, you know, and it's a game that challenges me. No! Slow backswing. Oh. Yes. I mean, I could shoot a 79 one day and a 100 the next day easily, and that's kind of, I think, what always like frustrates me and keeps me coming back.
Randy's talking to Keisha. They're having a word. He has to. I step aside. She's fucking up. Baby! Yeah, we yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Woo! Can you share any of what you said? Yeah, it was between us. Okay, so that was my first one, Mace. I thought it was so sick. You got in Australia. <laughs> Australia, yeah, for a TV show. And then, you know, I did the throws with my mom. And then that's actually Nevada Hardcore. It's like a lot of underground bands. And then we got and the, then, the welding mask. This is this is a revolver somewhere right here. There it is. Yeah, yeah there it is. We got oh, a, it's a revolver. Like I, I said, was a welding mask. Well, yeah, because a third grader freaking drew. No, but no, if you look at it right, it looks like it. it yeah, I see the revolver. Yeah, now. yeah. That does kind of. Yeah, yeah. But, but you see how the, doesn't that look like? Which I mean, the welding mask. Is I, actually, no, I like that more. I might have yeah. to touch it up. This was all supposed to be like Western stuff. And then I got the Fear and Loathing, the John Oh, Death that's so good. Yeah. Did that. So this is when I moved to Vegas and it started getting better. And then this whole arms, these are like all my buddies that have passed. Like that was my buddy, childhood friend. And see this one like flows. Yeah, there's yeah, like a nice great. see this one? Yeah. Okay. What's and what's then, up? I see something yeah, so, right here. Got blazing <laughs> blazing saddles. That was my favorite movie growing up before I actually yeah. knew what it was like. I just liked the acting when I was a kid. This is my fave. The albums are kind of blue. They're a little blue. They're a little blue. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good shot. Eight's our risk reward hole. It's drivable. Avoid the right. Okay. Because it's all clovery and that green's kind of two tiered. So if you like end up chipping it short and you have to put it with. It's just not good. Just trust me on this, <laughs> all right? Sheesh! Oh, Go in the hole. That'll kick right a little bit too. Oh! Did you get hung up? Just long, stayed a little long. Yes, sir! The boys are heating up. I know. I think we're in trouble. The one thing I've seen from these guys, Mike, is whenever they start playing well, they keep it going for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> it never slows down. <laughs> With a cut? Yeah. I almost like it at the flat. That's going to be just fine, dude. Dude. Nice. You can see thermals. The thermals. Here he comes. Mm. At the turn, how are we looking? Looking. Not on wood. Looking good. We're third. We have 31 of 50 points. So we're ahead of pace by six. You guys got us three down. You kind of got us wherever you want. So you might have a cold, free cold beer at the end. Oh, wouldn't that be a treat? Probably hit the spot. <laughs> You guys got any balls left? Warbird. That's what Randy's, he's my Warbird. <laughs> Cowboy! I almost just stepped on a snake. Snake? Yeah. I ain't gonna be able to sleep now tonight. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you guys find another one? Cowboy! Oh my god! It's a sweepstakes. Good. Neil. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice Steve, I'm Randy. Yeah, Steve, nice you know who mowed, the, who mowed these greens today, man? We haven't made anything. Nobody mowed them today. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were mowed yesterday, though. Okay. <laughs> Pretty bad shape, huh? No, they look great. Yeah, the yeah, greens are awesome. I've been okay. Greens are great. Nice. Although I got held up on number eight, the rough behind the green. You yeah. going to play with us after? We might do some <clears> extra holes. I don't know. Maybe uh, I, I'm going to do some work for a little bit. Cool. Do you have a beer at lunch? No. You sure? Yeah, I didn't. No, I just left the house. Oh, okay. Yeah, did some stuff around the house. You yeah. gotta watch this guy. He'll sneak away for lunch, have a couple IPAs, and get a little tuned. <laughs> That's right. I've definitely never played a hole like uh -huh. this. Is that long grass in the middle of the green? Yeah, it's like a little kidney. It's not a bunker, it's like just mud, but it'll hold your ball because if you go over and start rolling down, it'll roll right off the damn green. Do you have a 56? Yeah, one more. Okay. I don't think it needs to be that large. No, no, no. said large. Oh, <laughs> large. Stop. Did you ever see the Metallica documentary? Oh, did you watch it? Oh, which one? Something like Monster? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Say. It's fucking stock. God. Woo! 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 You almost just made it under right now. I know, that was close. It's really 
<laughs> got some rain, but it here. The wind get me a little bit. Look at these guys. They look like sheep. What's your problem? Mike, you get a lot of days like this? Never. The rain follows you guys everywhere. I know. We're, the Strat might be the cursed franchise. Okay, the boys have weathered the storm. Three from the big guy. There you go. That's a closer, huh? That, oh yeah, we lost. How many points is that? That's uh, 48. 48? 48. 48. Hey, three holes left. Three tough, holes to tough, go. Tough holes left. The boys have never hit their quota. <laughs> they never have? They never have. First for everything. Oh, oh God, be good. Right it's heady territory though, being up near the quota. I don't know. It's like high altitude. Yeah, it's high altitude. Yeah. Yeah. We might. We might pass out. I don't know. Down. 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 Not bad. Turn. Turn. Good putt. All right, let's run out. Hey. Boys! A momentous putt for Strat. They have hit the quarter! Say Raphael! Say Raphael! <laughs> Dude, am I the good luck charm or no? Of course, of course. Yeah, <laughs> getting that quota with Mace here. <laughs> living. A couple years ago, I was riding oh, a show. So I was like riding, I was doing some flips. I'm like, I kind of feel bored. And I happened to look at my Fitbit, and my heart rate was at like 96. And then like two weeks later, I was playing golf, and I had like a 20 foot birdie putt, and I was over it, just shaking. I looked, 125. <laughs> golf is gnarlier than dirt bikes, boys. Did you make it? Oh no, I think I got a bogey. <laughs> Good Well, it's the best one of the year. <laughs> That's gonna be like eight year ninety in the hole, probably. Dude, his own horn. He's not like, hey, thanks, guys. He's like, God, I am so sick. That's how I get my sound hyped, Mike. You know me. Come on, I'm an energy guy. Oh yeah. God, nice. Pulled an oblique, dude. <laughs> not for the season, boys. <laughs> Two pars to finish. Strong showing, boys. Hey, guys. That was God. Put my hair on. That was fun, dude. Thanks. Thanks for having us out. Nice. That was awesome, awesome dude. Thank you. Neil. Proud of you. Mr. Pie? Hey. Mr. That's Pie, fun. as always. Not even dark. Mr. Always. Pie. That's fun. Hey. Good times, dude. It was 57. 57 points. 14 ahead. So 14 in the in the 14, 14 in the banks for the kids. Strap boys golf their balls. That's the moral of the story. We won $14 today. Woo! As I said in the car, I think it wasn't the best course we played in Strapped, but if you take into account the company, the weather, which is really cool, the scenery, the course, and the way we played, that's think that's the best strap round. Best all around award in high school. To um, note, no original. four balls left, but none of our original triple tracks. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we did some scavenging out there. All right, where are we going to eat? We're gonna go to El Charo, a little Mexican joint. Be in the happy hour? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Two to six happy p.m. happy hour bar menu. Yeah, yeah. enchilada, uh, cheese, chicken, or beef, 375. Pretty good, about is, this it. All, is this all free? Mm -hmm. Free 99. Uh, Mike marches to his own beat. His, I was thinking actually on the back nine, the rules kind of don't apply to that guy. Like he doesn't look at life like, oh, you like, do you go to school and then you get a job? It was like, no, nah, man, I'm just gonna hit jumps. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna send it every day of my life. Like was so nice, is so positive, upbeat, uh, just the type of person you want to be around. If we gave you a trick and said go do that, what would the one? What's the one that would freak you out the most? Probably clearing the jump right now. <laughs> a couple, you know, margarita deep here. Yeah. No handed backflips for me. I mean, guys are doing way gnarlier stuff, but no handed flips. It's like you got to flip right, and then when we let go of our bars, they're moving around. 
And if your bars were to like turn to the locks, your flips off axis and then you're a mess up in the air, you know? Yeah, what's the best trick out there? It's gnarly, dude. It's called a bike flip. Here comes the bike flip from Pages. Watch it. It's perfect. Oh, he dabs a little bit, but he's got it. And Genie's watching. He's like, yeah, that was good. So we have like quarter pipe ramps now. They're real yeah. steep ramps. And he goes straight off. Like he's going this way to land. He's going this way to take off, this way to land. But he jumps, holds on to just the throttle, and flips his bike. Like his bike does the flip. So we're back at Harrah's night two. Last night's it's rim was $63. Tonight's rim was $59. I think in kind of a surprise for us is we, we were out over our skis. And now we're like firmly. I think that like speaks solid to ground. like that's like veteran experience. Yeah. You know, I think I'm proud of us. I think we 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 kind of slayed the dragon on the course and a little bit off of it so far. What a day, guys! That was fun. Mace, thanks for showing us. Hey, thanks for hanging yeah, thanks. with me, boys. Absolutely. We'll do it again tomorrow. Wildest courses I've ever seen. Yeah. Enjoy those drinks, fellas. You earned it. Yeah, we did, didn't we? We did. It worked, bud. We did.